Hey, howdy, caddies. Hope you're going all right. Weekly walk about the collector, toys, books, and other stuff this week is the auction. Got some cool gear. Coca-Cola yo-yo. Coca-Cola camera over the back in the box with a Snoopy camera. Pretty cool. Brighton Footy Club badge and a Brighton Festival badge from 1917. A little dinky toy petrol truck. Some nice old cornies and twisties and other footy cards over the back. Not that you can see them in that plastic bag. Some interesting postcards, cricket teams, footy teams, kanga cricket cards. A couple of little bits in the jewellery cabinet. He's nice, little Edwardian sort of style hole stand. I really like this thing. <laughs> it's a fold-up chaise. So possibly like a campaign piece for military or something like that. It's a bit smaller than normal. But all the base folds up to go quite flat. I don't know if the upholstery on it's original. It's a cool thing though. There's no branding or maker's marks on it. But I haven't seen a fold-up chaise before. This is nice. Little 70s sort of teak veneered. A uh, little sort of cabinet with the drawers. Kind of like the little blackened base on it. Here's a nice little Victorian style sort of drinks cabinet. A little lift up tray on the top. Nice cabriole legs. Cool box of cassette tapes. Uh, Jesus and Mary chain, REM, Wang Chung. Heaps of cure. Prince. Yeah, good mixed lot of, good mixed lot of cassettes. Foster's Lager, tin, eh? Money box. With cash in it. <laughs> so it'll be interesting to see what that sells for on Thursday night. These are all Phantom Comics, three boxes full of them, from 1500 up to about 1700 Some really cool sort of men's summer shirts, all original sort of 1970s, 80s ones. This is a ripper. The Pilgrim High Speed Dolls Pusher, brand new with a little sort of fringe pom-pom. Um, other kids' toys and gear, Snoopy and soft toys, planet lamps, not a lot of toys, it's all camera accessories and stuff. It's a good sort of mixed big box of ephemera, sheet music, all sorts of stuff. Some more toys, big soft toy koala, funnily enough made out of kangaroo fur. Good little collection of cards, Maltese cards and all the rest of it. Some footy and other sort of... Uh, Star Wars sort of glasses and mugs and stuff. Little portable gramophone there with some 78s. Two boxes of kids' toys, Mickey Mouse and some other gear. Some lights. Chandelier's pretty nice. What else have we got? Another big box of comics. Cool little box of Disney stuff. Boxes of records. This is all Fisher-Price kids' toys. The castle and the Pirate ships and stuff. A little sort of trellis screen there with some turnips, I think, in the little planter. More good records. Kids books. Bit of Mr. Men. This is a nice lot. All the Kiwi boot polish tins. These are good. The decals, all the different footy clubs there. They haven't been used. Some good Australian postcards, exhibition buildings. This is a little signed uh, shipping menu by the signed by the captain of the ship. All good postcards, old uh, li luggage labels, Life Boy soap advertising cards, Sunlight soap, all original stuff. Some good gear. Books, Star Wars, paintings. More comics. This is a cool lot of retro lights. I kind of like this one with the sort of little dancers underneath and the palm trees. Collection of model kits. Group lot of mixed items with a pair of cowboy boots. Yeah, you, know, you can wear them while you're playing bocce or whatever the hell the name of that game is with the silver balls. Records. More lamps. What else have we got? Kids toys and stuff. Good lot of Eden Blyton books. All nice early ones published by Dean. Some cool sort of Pulp Fiction and other ephemera in that lot. Good little lot of records. Sunny Boys. This is all sort of moon-related, space-related newspapers and headlines. At least more toys and stuff down the back. Boxes of toys. More cassette tapes and a cool old boxed Walkman. Uh, small records. This wig is amazing, this tinsel wig. 
It's a cool lot of sort of blokey sort of toys, railways and aeroplanes and trains. Australian books, Blinky Bill, Ainsley Roberts, The Dreamtime. There's a Skippy record. Old sort of cup and ball game or something like that with some other little touristy dolls. Noddy, Charlie Brown, Beatrix Potter. These are all good books, or kids' books illustrated by Australian artists. Pushkin's Fairy Tales, lithographic, lithographic plates by Arthur Boyd. There you go, they're just prints inside there, but it's a cool bit. Cards, more cards and ephemera. Some nice little Australian military, little AIF desk stand. And the RAAF cheese dome or whatever it is. Records, Australian. Interesting book on Volkswagen military vehicles. Old newspapers. Some other little little group there with the Minute Car and a Betty Page book. Camera lenses and accessories. They're all sort of old um, produce bags and stuff like that for bird seed and dog food and stuff. Nice little collection of the nursery china. Unmade model kits, all various boats. But they're all unmade in their boxes. Some nice early Australian ephemera. Fishing gear. All Australian books. More unmade model kits, all tanks and military sort of stuff. These are more nice albums full of sort of uh, swap cards and gear like that. Some cool stuff in there. Box of die casts. Another nice big lot of Enid Blyton books. More swap cards. More comics. Lego Duplo. Heaps of HO gauge train gear. Souvenir spoons and sort of travel ephemera. It's pretty cool. Little yellow planet lamp. Just needs a bit of rewiring. Kind of like this little shelving sort of unit. Nice big French walnut carved double bed with all the rails and stuff. This thing's a ripper. Big goods trolley. Supposed to be from Flinders Street. Fantastic thing. It's in great condition. Lovely patina and everything on it. Really cool bit. Little Chevelle mirror. We've got Castle Grayscale with its box. I like this painting by V. Badillo. I think he's a Mexican sort of artist, but it's fantastic. All colourful and busy little market scene. Uh, some good Australian art books. John Percival. This is a little collection here of sort of Disney-related books. Thomas the Tank Engine and some yo-yos. Car books. Some good movie posters. Newspaper headlines from the newsagent. Marbles, Hot Wheels Treasure Hunt. It's a good set Minolta camera, 35mm camera with heaps of accessories. There you go, it's a little ripper, little microscope set. Some Batman comics, I think numbers one through to six. It's a nice old Pelham puppet in the box. More model kits of aeroplanes, all unmade. Little box cameras, oil filters, and his cool little dr Duracell drumming bunny. Some nice Art Deco light there with the original glass shade. More, a lot of movie posters. Charlie Chaplin, uh, Elizabeth Taylor. Good little lot of records. Colin McCann books good. And I think some more Batman comics. Good little lot with the model kit there and some tin toys and other races. Nigel Mansell's Williams. Uh, comics. Cigarette cards. Another nice collection of camera gear. These are all glass um, photographic plates. More HO gauge train stuff. Some nice little fold-out cameras. Noddy. And a little plastic Volksy. Uh, really cool pair of old sort of 70s roller skates made out of a pair of Adidas footy boots. Someone's taken the stops off and bolted on some redstone runners. And his name was Sven. <laughs> This is cool, the old 70s sort of plastic strip screen curtain, mint in its original packet. Some more good posters. Interesting lot of sort of adult comics from the sort of 1980s. Peg Maltby prints. These were nice, a lot of badges and stuff like that and pins. Good lot of 50s rock and roll records. Um, some VFL footy, sort of club history, South Melbourne and Fitzroy. Blinky Bill hand puppets from Pizza Hut back in the 90s. It's a great lot, the Viewmasters with all their slides. Some really interesting photographs of Bathurst and stuff in the 1970s and 80s. Peter Brock and Dickie Johnson and all that. Nice little Aboriginal art reference book. Some cool old marbles. Polaroid cameras a ripper. 
Nice little collection of gear there. Lovely little sort of deco cigarette box. It's pretty pitted on the top, but the little, nice little sort of rounded ends on it. Cool melamine barbecue set. These are great. A little sort of 1980s Disney plastic masks. Beatles records. A little Stormtrooper lamp. Some more good stamps. Other gear as well. A little box games and puzzles. Uh, heaps of Wallace and Gromit sort of packaged stuff. Good little lot of spooky sort of rubber toys. There's a little Shuko monkey in there with another little wind up yapping dog. Cool little lot of die casts and some South Park guys. More cameras. These are great, these. The Ronald McDonald's Flying Cheeseburgers. So little sort of, you know, push out cardboard cheeseburger frisbee things. A little lot of military books. This one's signed by Pappy Boyington. He was the squadron leader of the Black Sheep. There you go. Really interesting guy. Really cool book. It's nice to see it signed by him. A couple of editions of Norman Lindsay's Magic Pudding. Some die casts. Some good decals and stickers in here and other bits of Australian ephemera. Warhammer 40,000. They haven't been made up and some of the bits are metal. Really cool old indicator off a car. Little Mark's tin toy truck. Turf Register 1904. Nice little set of Australian die-cast uh, die matchbox or mint boxed. This is one of my favourite bits of the auction. VHS video cassette from World Safari, which is signed by Albie Mangles. There you go. <laughs> so cool. Got a little lot of reference books, postcards, cigarette card values and stuff. Good reference book on Holthorpe's woodcuts. What else have we got? Phil May in Australia book, commercial artist. Good thing. Kids cowboy costume. Yeehaw. Elvis records. Nice big lot. Old American Civil War ephemera and some other gear. Um, Credence Australian pressing albums. Some more nice bits of ephemera. Tim Storia book. Ian Fairweather book. Um, other Australian books. Digger Smith. Ginger Mick. There's a nice little sheet music with lovely covers. This is really cool over the back. It's a full pop-up book on personal computers published in like 1986 or something. Really cool. Some wiggle bobbleheads. There you go. The Math Marvel. Texas Instruments. The cool little kid sort of calculator toy. That's great. The old Mother's Crushed Oats box. Bunny Shaking Head Banks Ripper. Mint in its original box. Some cool retro china. There you go. The big Chinese vintage tin toy musical tractor. It's got a bit of age to it. Some more nice books down the bottom. Brett Whiteley and Johnny Olsen. Mickey Mouse comics. It's a really cool, cool big um, advertising banner. Can't remember the brand of cigarettes. Um, some little sort of soldier toys. A couple of nice old bottles. These are lovely old books, I think, with the records in them or something like that. A couple of pictures with gramophone record. Some interesting Australian military ephemera. That's a really nice big sort of fold-out map of America. Some nice original line annuals, just in fantastic condition. Blue and Curly and other Australian comics. It's a nice little vintage doll. Nice little Art Deco sort of lamp and clock combination. Needs a bit of a clean up, but it'll, it'll be a peach when it's done. A little Japanese tin toy turtle family's in great condition. Space gun. Japanese tin toy speedboat. Nice early Mary um, Enid Blyton book. Robots. Kodak Autographic Brownie 2. This little sort of foam rubber bendy uh, Mickey Mouse. Some Dalton Bunnikins trio. Some good bits up the top shelf. It's a pretty cool postcard signed by all the soldiers. Um, Field Artillery Brigade 5, Battery 13 on their way to the First World War. Um, little battery operated robot. He's pretty cool, a Ferrari tin toy racer. Peter Pan movie post on the back, over the back is a ripper. It's a really cool little model of a sort of Spitfire. It's a later one with a Griffin engine. You can tell by those things on the top and with the clip, clipped wings off it. Beatles plates ripper as well. He's cool, the clock. And this is a great little bit. A little collection of penguin trading cards. So there's three on that side and on the back is that set of six there with the puzzle backs. It's nice to see the whole set of six. But there you go. There's more stuff that I didn't show you just because that's the type of guy I am. Hopefully you saw something you liked. We'll see you guys on Thursday night or another be another good sale.